Good morning and welcome in. Before we get into this morning's update, let's go over a quick synopsis of what we're going to go over here. First, we see XRP's up 1.21% on the day to 52.7 cents. For anybody who was in the live last night, very quickly, we talked about two areas that even if it was a dead cap bounce, we could come up to. And lastly, it was going to be something bigger. But the second layer was 53 cents, which we suspected that area. First layer could have been 52.4. Now that we've gotten on top of 52.4, We've gotten back within this descending consolidation, although it just looks like a little bit of a channel is formed here. So we'll see if we can actually break out this weekend and do something special, or if this is just more of a dead cap bounce, yada, yada, yada. And then by the time it ends, you know, you'll end up uh, finishing the formation. We don't know, but right now I can definitely see some kind of rising channel forming here. We'll see if it can pull apart from it, but it definitely looked like it was starting to form a little channel here. So let's pay attention because right now it's somewhat coming to the bottom side of it. But just over the last several hours, overnight after our live, this is what it, uh, this is what we started to form. Some kind of little, it looks like a little rising channel here. It's pretty hard to uh, determine exactly what's going on in that short little uh, consolidation, but that's what it looks like. But right now we're over that 52.3 upside potential if we continue to play bullish you come back and retest at some point that 54.4 cents which is that 2018 resistance that we desperately tried to flip the support but unfortunately it came back through we got a rejection and now we continued falling and then we'd ultimately need to break out of the short-term consolidation which is right about 55 cents to get out of that short-term bearish bias on that formation um that's not the rising channel what am i talking about not Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the rising channel. Now, on this chart, the uh, this is the somewhat of a wider base. This was our second option. So, if Bitcoin wasn't over 55,000 area, if Ethereum didn't break over 2,300, this was the area we would push. Now, if Bitcoin would have got rejected at that 54,000 area, 54,000, just the 54,000 area, we're right there. But if we would have got rejected there... We have two layers on Bitcoin. We have that 54,000, but we also have a gap. We talked about yesterday during the live. It was very important. If you weren't in the live yesterday, I highly encourage you to watch the live. It was just over an hour live. Um, we had about 110 people in there, which was awesome. Especially with how bearish it was. I was so surprised to see so many people. But we talked about how there was a gap level at 55,282 on Bitcoin. First level rejection, so there's like layer one was at 54K. Layer two was at 55,282, and that was to fill the gap. Um, and then if you look at it in the same perspective as Ethereum, we talked about the gap fill was at 2,294. And now or, uh, Ethereum's come all the way up there now. So now it's either, did we fill the gap and we come back down? Or did we start pushing up towards that 2,435 and try to have some kind of V-shape recovery? Not a ton of volume that came in. But we continue to move up a little transparently. So that's what's going on with Bitcoin and Ethereum. A little bit of XRP. And then after I timestamp this, we're going to get into some reading too. So XRP declines around 53 cents. Ripple co-founder extends support to Kamala Harris in U.S. election. So I'm not exactly sure why Christian A. Larson is supporting Kamala Harris in her extreme crypto rhetoric, which would be unrealized uh, uh, gains which I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of politics to begin with. Right or left, I know the central banks are running the show. So they're both puppet masters. They're being controlled by puppet masters, Trump, Harris. I like Trump more I, with all disclosure, but I know they both run for the same team, unfortunately. Um, but to support Harris, when you're running a cryptocurrency, uh, when you're running a actual, it doesn't make any sense. They, they run Ripple Labs, they own XRP, the fact that they are pushing a cryptocurrency with the ledger and they're going to support Harris and attack every single crypto holder is kind of insane to me. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just I'm just XRP future million. I'm not a financial advisor and I certainly don't know shit about politics. So don't listen to me. So let's timestamp this. Let's do the intro real quickly. And after that, we also have to read through how 187 million XRP have moved in 24 hours. What the hell is going on? So good morning. 7.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Saturday, September 7th, 2024. 
I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood this morning, because I'm about to go watch Michigan get their ass kicked against Texas here at noon. Unless we somehow, some way, come out with uh, some finesse. We come out showing uh, some testicular fortitude that I did not see last week against Fresno State. And let's face it, Texas was uh, one play away from playing us in the championship last year. You know, national champions as it remains. Defending national champions until we have, you know, so many losses to where we won't be able to defend it in the playoff. But Texas is the team we were last year. They were from two years ago when we lost to TCU. And then we, we went back and won the championship last year. We lost to TCU in the Final Four. Same thing happened with Texas. They lost in the college football playoff to Washington, despite probably should have winning that game. Then we blew out Washington in the national championship, as everybody knows. But now Texas is on that same alignment. Now Texas is that heat-seeking missile like Michigan was in 23. So now it's danger. It's going to be dangerous. So Michigan could show us something today. If they beat Texas today, oh, oh baby, am I going to be in a good mood later. But anyhow, let's not kick off with the football game. You know, I, I can be happy even if we have a shitty season because we finally won a title for the first time since 97, you know. So I can be a little happy. So this is what we're seeing with XRP. There's nothing more I can say with this. Those charts are so dead on right now. There's no reason to further analyze. We need to see if we're going to break up and start to retake that 2018 resistance up here. And that's at 54.4. Or if we're going to play further... And now, is that 53 cents a rejection? Do we come back to 48.8 cents? Is this a dead cat bounce over the weekend? We don't know. But we are certainly going to find out together this weekend. Well, I have a live tonight, most likely. Even though I'll be at my dad's for the game at noon, I'll probably leave there at 4 or 5 o'clock. I'm going to leave here at like 10 so I can get to his house before 11. Um, but then I should be back home in a good time, and I'm looking forward to a live tonight unless something changes. Unless I have to go up to the hospital or something. My mom's up at the hospital, so we'll see how that's going too. So I guess I shouldn't speak too quickly. But so XRP declines are to around 53 cents. Ripple co-founder extends support to Kamala Harris in the U.S. election. Makes it. Ripple co-founder and executive chairman Chris Larson extends support to Vice President Kamala Harris in the U.S. presidential election. Former Ripple board member Gene Sperling left the White House in August to join Kamala Harris 2024 presidential campaign which i find interesting xrp dipped to a one month low of 53.23 cents on friday and then it fell below 50 there uh, it fell to about 51 and some change so ripple xrp co-founder chris larson joined 88 other business leaders in supporting vice president kamala harris in the upcoming u.s presidential election per a cnbc report the payment remittance firm Recently received the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC consent on a stay on the monetary portion of the final ruling in the SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit. Uh, the Daily Digest Market Movers, Ripple co-founder and former board member backed Kamala Harris. SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit updates actions of co-founder and former board member on chain metrics are the key market movers for XRP on Friday. Ripple co-founder Chris Larson joined key business leaders and expressed support for Kamala Harris presidential campaign, signing a letter to endorse Harris for president. A former Ripple board member, Gene Sparling, left the White House to join Vice President Harris in 2024 presidential campaign in August. As the November election, elections draw close. Leaders in the crypto community are backing pro-crypto candidates. Several crypto community members back former U.S. President Trump for his promise to put an end to Gary Gensler's crusade against crypto. In this regard, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said on Tuesday in Seal that he will make a gentleman's bet that the SEC's chair tenure is up, irrespective of who wins the U.S. presidential election, according to the Korea Herald. Technical analysis, XRP corrects to one month low at 53.23, but as we know, it fell down below this as well. It hit the liquidity zone. It did. It swept the liquidity zone at 51.8 cents yesterday, the lower boundary of the imbalance zone in the XRP USDT daily chart. Once there, buyers could take control to let the altcoin attempt a recovery toward a key resistance of 62.17 cents. This marks a key level that XRP has tested as resistance several times since July. The moving average convergence divergence MACD momentum indicator shows red histogram bars under the neutral line. 
suggesting the bearish momentum prevails. Still a daily candlestick of close above the upper boundary of the fair value gap at 57.85 cents. Could invalidate the bearish thesis in this scenario. XRP could rally towards the mentioned 62.17 cents. So that'll be interesting. There is a gap up there almost at 58 cents, but we filled the lower gap, so we'll see if we come up there. That's why our analysis today, we talked about the two key levels, which I'll show you one more time, because I'd like to release this in the next couple minutes. It'll be a little shorter update, because I want to get you know myself ready. Plus, I've covered all the information. I don't think I always need to do 20 minutes if it's not there. But who knows? We might get there today anyhow. So 53 cents. Do we break that or do we get rejected? Is this a dead cat bounce? We will find out a lot this morning. And we know 54.4 cents is the 2018 resistance. So we would have to get over that to start pushing the 55.69 on the upper boundary of this pattern formation, the short term. And then we know right here. Let me copy this or clone it. We know right here we've got the 2018 resistance, which is a support or a support resistance line, which is acting as resistance still for the last six and a half plus years. We failed on this recent attempt, and now we have to get back over 54.4 cents to revalidate that that is being used as support. But we're gonna have to find some uh, potential uh, support here and some buyers. So 187 million XRP in 24 hours. What is happening? Then I'll release this. Yeah. Blockchain tracking service Well Alert, which monitors large cryptocurrency transactions and shared their details with the community on the X platform, has detected several large XRP transfers performed over the last 24 hours. Among them was a transfer conducted by San Francisco-based blockchain behemoth Ripple. 187 million XRP on the move. The aforementioned data platform reported four large cryptocurrency transfers, which cumulatively carried a staggering 187 million XRP. The largest of those XRP chunks was moved by Ripple Labs, and it comprised a mass of 100 million XRP worth 54,594,473. We talked about that on the live last night about Ripple moving that uh, large sum of XRP. In the comments, the XRP community expressed concerns as the goal of Ripple allegedly selling a mass of XRP lumps. This transfer was targeted at an anonymous blockchain address. However, details that were shared by XRP Focus Explorer, Bythump, Bithump, show that this was an internal transaction sent by Ripple to one of its own wallets. An anonymous whale withdrew 31.126 million XRP in his digital wallet. That amount of XRP constituted 16,908,702 in fiat. The remaining two transfers moved 29,100,000 and 26,830,000 respectively XRP to the exchanges. Bitsol, Bitsamp, based in Mexico and Europe. That's to get rid of. These are to be sold. Bitthump revealed that the anonymous wallet that initiated those transfers belonged to Ripple, while Bitso and Bitsamp belong to the platform that collaborate with the cryptocurrency giant, helping it to run the Ripple payments feature using XRP tokens. Wow. So who knows what the hell is really going on there. A day earlier, Whale Alert detected a massive 105 million XRP transacted that was conducted between two unknown crypto whales. Details if it were shared in a Thursday tweet. So there's been a lot of movement going. So I'm XRP Future Millionaire. Make sure to hit that like button. Share this on social media. If you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto USA or around the world, video description below and or pinned comments or on my homepage on YouTube. You can find the links to uh, BitUnix and our hotcoin. You don't need a VPN or KYC. They have the lowest spot in leverage trading fees worldwide that I have found. And if you want to copy, trade them on hotcoin. Highly encourage you though to join BitUnix as well. They're both very nice exchanges and I really encourage everybody to use them. Great promotions going on. And then remember, if you want to uh, pay it forward, you can always join Tom's Army. You can uh, send a YouTube super chat or you can simply go on to YouTube before I leave. I will show everybody how to find all of the information that you need to find for my channel. So let's say you've never seen me go to search XRP Future Millionaire. You click the Tom's Army. And that will show you right here. It says BitUnix plus five links. You have BitUnix and Hotcoin if you want to join the exchanges with me. And then if you want to send a, um, a donation outside of YouTube, there's Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. It's as easy as just clicking on Cash App. And then it brings up Cash App. And then you can pay Tom Jr. 222. And the other ones are the same way with Venmo and PayPal. Have a blessed morning, everybody. And I will see you sometime this afternoon or evening. I look forward to it.